thanks for joining me again on Lucid Food. Today I'm making one of my all-time favorite dishes, Tortilla Española. It's a simple baked egg dish that you can eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or serve as an hors d'oeuvre. I learned how to make it in Spain, but you can find all the ingredients at your local farmer's market. Here's what you'll need to make my take on Tortilla Española. Six large eggs, four red scallions, one large potato weighing about a half pound, five tablespoons olive oil, one fourth pound Havarti cheese, small diced, salt, one fresh baguette. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees, then start out by cracking your eggs into a large bowl. I was lucky enough to spend time in Madrid. As is the custom there, I didn't go out for formal dinners, but went to bars and made a meal out of tapas the great bar snacks that Spain is famous for. My favorite was always tortilla española. Now that the eggs are cracked, whisk them together and set them aside. I'm gonna cut the scallions. So I remove the top third of the scallions. The rest I'm gonna slice on a diagonal. I chose red scallions because they have a beautiful color, but you can use any onion. So once I slice these up, I'm just going to set them aside. The potato is the heart and soul of the tortilla española. It's what gives the dish body. I take my peeled potato, I'm going to cut it in half, and then cut it into quarters. And the quarters I'm going to slice into slices about one fourth inch thick. And it doesn't matter if they're different sizes, as long as they're all the same width, they're going to take the same amount of time to cook. Take my slices and set them aside. My pan's nice and hot, so first I'm going to add in some olive oil, then I can throw in my potatoes and let these brown. The potatoes are nice and brown, so I'll take them out of the pan. And now I add in my scallions. I'm going to let these guys brown. My scallions are nice and brown, so I'm going to add the potatoes back in. Hit this with a little more salt. I spread the scallions and the potatoes evenly across the bottom of the pan. And now I'm going to pour my eggs over everything. Finally, I sprinkle the cheese over the surface of the eggs evenly so I get a little cheese in every part of the pan. And now I put the whole pan into the oven. And that's going to cook for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. I'm going to check and see if the tortilla is done. Gently poke the top. It feels firm and springy, so I know it's done. If you want to check, all you do is tilt the pan a little bit. If anything looks runny, you put it back in the oven for about five minutes. But this is done, and I could eat it now, nice and hot like this but I'll let it cool to room temperature, which is how it's usually eaten in Spain. Now the tortilla is cooled, I can take it out of the pan. First, I'm gonna go around the edge of the pan with my knife, and just make sure it's detached from the edge. Then I take my metal spatula and go under, and make sure it's not attached to the bottom of the pan. Now I take my plate, put it on top of the pan, Hold the pan and the plate firmly, and then flip. And voila, that's what the tortilla should look like. Cut a generous slice. Put it on a plate with a fresh slice of baguette. You can garnish however you like. I got these beautiful edible flowers from the farmer's market, so the colors are gorgeous. Let's see how it tastes. Delicious. Thanks for joining me on my Spanish adventure. See you next time on Lucid Food.